So, end of season update. And how did it go? Well... But actually, it didn't go that bad. Yet, there were some good battles. Uh, there was some progress for 2019. But as you've guessed, our 2019 season is over. Right now. Probably, as I'm recording this, the guys are uh, running in the last race of Snetson. Got to win all there. Um, Snetson is track I seem to do okay at, uh, randomly. Don't know why. Uh, it's quite suited to our car as well, because it's a bit heavier, but it's uh, well-powered because of the power-to-weight ratio rules for this year. Uh, so we really struggled on Brands and Cadwell Park, um, where we should be making that back at circuits like Snetterton, which we're not doing, but never mind. But it's not to be. That's our 2019 season done as it stands. Thoughts then on 2019? So compared with the previous year, compared with 2018, much more consistency. Uh, slightly better lap times, yes, but by far much more consistency. So that's the biggest takeaway for me. Um, even though I used to get an okay lap last year. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, be there consistently. Whereas this year, uh, I can. So that's good. The car, it turns out really, uh, and I put this down to me not putting enough time and mental energy and a bit of love into the car. Um, it's been struggling all year, and that's down the setup. I didn't realise uh, the suspension at the back was slightly uneven. It needs corner weighting anyway. It needs a, a good proper setup. Um, I've tweaked it and tweaked it, tweaked it um, over the years. Uh, for the start of this year, I obviously screwed up. I didn't realise. Um, but such is life. So, a quick recap then on the season. It started at Donington, which I loved. I went off again. Biggest thing I remember, it was getting up into fifth gear. Don't usually do that, but yeah, the, the car with the extra with the exhaust, uh, it definitely needed it. So uh, yeah, that was good. Time to straight away quicker. Although I thought it was to do with the fact that I had extra power. Uh, credit curves were suddenly more challenging. Part of it was that, I guess. Part of it was also that the rear, uh, the rear just been not very compliant. Um, so that sent me into the gravel. Uh, for qualifying, yeah. But apart from that, I I was quite heartened because uh, I could keep on the back of people um, much more than before. Cadwell, not so good. Hated the idea that I was, if anything, a bit slower than last year. The rear end stability um, must have made a will have made a decent impact there. Still enjoy Cadwell Park. It's a fantastic circuit. But um, slightly disappointed, but but I still had consistency, so not so bad. And then Bronze Arch, one of my favourite tracks. Uh, still only a little bit quicker than I was there a couple of years ago. Um, looking at the onboards, looking at how much more confidence I had before to really wring its neck down Paddock Hill. Not so much this time. It felt like it was trying to kill me at every uh, every bite of the steering wheel um, qualifying I thought it did try to kill me um, there was turns out there was some coolant on the circuit but the, the violence it flicked around wow that shook me up I thought I had a puncture I really did 
So I came into the pits and there was nothing wrong with it, but I was <laughs> shaking up, nearly hitting the uh, bang in the inside wall on the pit straight. I thought, nah, something's wrong. Um, adjusting the suspension by the equal the by equal amounts on both sides, raising it up. Well, that's great, except if they're unequal in the first place. Yeah, um, the problem's still there. Really annoying. I've got to spend more time with the car. Part of the reason we have to close this season early, unfortunately, is a new house. Um, but the silver lining with that is a bit more room for the race car. So, a bit more room for the stuff, a bit more room to work on it. I'm on a drive, a real drive, rather than a, a hill, which is like that. Um, that'll help a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I can actually see um, and measure the suspension properly. So to next year, then. Looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. We should be able to do the full season. With a proper setup, we need to do some testing. We should be in good shape. We should be in good shape. Certainly fighting in that mid-pack field. Um, without a question. I know it's needed now. Uh, I've been there. I've, I've done it. And uh, yeah, when we get the car sorted out, um, we'll be fine. It'll be interesting to see if the rules uh, stay the same for next year with power to weight ratio I hope they do it just makes the series more cost effective so I haven't spent a couple of grand on my engine um, bought some oil for it and a filter and an oil filter that's about it but yeah um, but yeah the whole point is to keep the championship nice and uh, reasonably costed that's even a thing in motorsport and then what about this <laughs> So this is my effort to try and make this a bit more professional, a bit nicer, easier to watch. Yeah, so I'm going to put a bit more effort into this, try and mumble less, try and use a little bit more kit. At the moment it's my phone and my car GoPro and um, work headset. Yeah, make some more videos. I do like making the videos, I think. I generally do. Um, I, I prefer to do these kinds of videos when I've got more... Uh, exciting and uh, things to say when things are going well but you know such is life but I really like doing that that series on how to get into racing because that's something I've just recently come through myself so something I want to pass on any hints and tips I've got an idea for one or two probably later in the year next year maybe but if there's anything you want to know ask uh, ask by all means um, Somebody wanted a video on the car, and even though it's not the sexiest car in the world, yeah, no problem. There's a car tour, not a problem at all. I don't mind. Um, like I said, it's sharing a passion. I, I love this hobby. Um, it's frustrating. It's highs and lows. God, I love it. And I'm happy to share it. I used to play Gran Turismo, and... I'd have the intro music playing to get me into the mood for a three hour stint in a Toyota Super around Grand Valley at 18 years old and I couldn't believe at that point that I could actually get around and race. I still think it's amazing now. Um, I'm not taking it for granted. Definitely not taking it for granted. So um, anything I can pass on to help I'm more than happy to because I'm happy to share my Passion. Ah, oh, there's one more. Yeah. So unfortunately, this has to go back. Um, yeah, it's our one and only. The silverware it was Paul Byron's turn on the previous year. Gregor Pryor, Sam Strong, Carl Graves. Uh, so, yeah. Um, definitely haven't won this again uh, this year but just to play to my ego we'll get a replica obviously need to put something in the trophy cabinet um, along with the kids taekwondo and thousands of football trophies so yeah I'll do that so that's it um, I'm gonna close out now that's our 2019 season done I did promise this video so 
This is for you, Morris. Um, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you like what this is. I uh, hope it's useful, interesting. Uh, fills a few minutes of your day. I uh, hope you come back for next year. Uh, and if you are new to this, stick around. Um, let's see what we can make it. Uh, so, uh, that's our 2019 season concluded. Thank you for watching. See you next time.